The Trump administration on Monday designated Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, the IRGC, as a terrorist organization. And the move is part of the administration's maximum pressure campaign on Tehran. The decision will further isolate and put economic pressure on Iran, and that might have consequences in the long run. However, it's not likely to change Iran's actions in the short run. The IRGC has standing militias in Syria, Iraq, Lebanon, and Yemen, and is likely to consolidate its presence in those countries, not reduce it. Indeed, the designation by the administration gives the impression of doing something at a time when the administration has all but ceded Syria to the IRGC and its allies, and risks doing the same in Iraq. It's not clear what the administration's endgame is. Regime change? or getting Iran back to the negotiating table. Neither is likely in the short term. In effect, Iran is waiting for 2020 and the outcome of the U.S. presidential elections. If a new Democratic candidate comes to the White House, they might look forward to a softening of the American position. And indeed, this designation might have been an attempt to make it more difficult for a Democratic president to do that. If Donald Trump is reelected, Tehran will have to reconsider their options and decide whether they can withstand four more years of relative isolation and tension or whether they have to negotiate. In the meantime, Iran has retaliated by designating the U.S. Central Command as a terrorist organization, and indeed that puts U.S. forces in Iraq and in Syria at actual risk. The decisions by the U.S. and Iran put the Iraqi government, in particular, which has close relations with both Iran and the U.S., in a very difficult position. In any case, the new designation adds a new layer of pressure in the ongoing standoff with Iran, and it might further isolate and hamper Iran in the long run. But it doesn't bring us any closer to a resolution of this costly crisis in the foreseeable future.